What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon You Know Red walkthrough. Okay, so I seem to have discovered what Pokemon replaced Abra, and that is a Gothita right here. As you can see, Gothita is both a Psychic and Dark type Pokemon, and it does have that teleport technique, so I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. Just to see if I can get it on the first try, but I'm gonna try and capture it to see if I can, you know, have it on my team or whatnot. As you can see, it does teleport. So that means that I am going to try and I'm gonna try and capture it. I'm gonna try and use that whole Mew glitch to see where it gets me in this game. Now, obviously, I didn't see, like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look at the whole walkthrough, nor did I see any walkthroughs in, in, in you know. And, you know, uh, going with Pokemon, you know, red. So if I'm the first, I'm going to try this as the first. That's why I'm not battling that trainer. So I'm going to go speed. I'm going to press the speed button to see if I can get to this guy real quick. So let's go right ahead and go. Alrighty, so here we have another Gothita. And this one's at level 8. We're going to try our luck right here. And, uh, I'm going to try and get this guy. So come on, baby. Let's go. Pokeball, go. Come on. Stay in the ball. God dang it! Okay. So there's another teleport right there. So it looks like to me that this Gothita is going to be a little stubborn. So I'm going to try it again. And once I get to the part where I actually capture Gothita, then, you know, I'll be right back, okay? And there we are, guys. We cut ourselves a Gothita. The replacement for good old Abra right here. And, well, let's go ahead and see what we got. So, here it is, Gothita, the fixation Pokemon. The ribbon-like feelers focus its psychic powers. Gothita is always staring intently at something. Okay, so, since this is, you know, the replacement for, for basically for Abra, Ultra Psycho, I think I found a cool name, cool name for this Pokemon right here. Yeah, look at this, Super, Super Psycho. That's a pretty good name right there. Just thought of it on the fly, guys. Usually it takes me a while just to, you know, think of it. But no, here we are. We have found the counterpart for good old Ultra Psycho. There we go. Super Psycho. Okay. So Super Psycho is going to be transported to the PC. I'll be right back with you guys with this Pokemon. Okay, so we're back guys, and we got ourselves Super Psycho from the PC, and let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon before we even press that teleport thing. So as you can see, Super Psycho level 8 Psychic type Pokemon does have some nice stats, it's special is it's a strong point right here, and it only has teleport. Now, I did discover one little thing about this, and it is that it can actually learn Water Gun, so that's what I'm going to do right now, is I'm going to teach this Pokemon Water Gun. I know, old Mr. Psycho uh, has it too, or Mr. Mr. Hydro has it too, but you know what, it, 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 it doesn't hurt to have a new move for Super Psycho. I don't think that Ultra Psycho could have learned it back in Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow. So, here we are going into the next route. We're going to be taking on some trainers right here, and well, what a good way to do to test our might then with the hikers right here. So, here we are. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I'm ready. Apparently he's ready. Okay, so here we go, going up against uh, this guy, the hiker, and he will be coming out with a timber. Look at that mudflat Pokemon! Holy crud! Now I am not going to battle this Pokemon with with timber. This guy is a little too hard. So uh, let's go right ahead and go back to Oinkinator right here. Take a Leer attack. It is what it is, and let's go straight for an Ember attack. And look at that, it takes. Almost half its, half its HP right there. So let's go again. Ember attack. And there we go. Say goodbye to good old Pokemon right there. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Rogalrola. So let's go straight to Super Psycho. Use its Water Gun attack right here. And, well, it is at level 15. We are trying... We are going to risk it just a tad bit. Let's go with the Water Gun. And... That takes a nice amount. So, we got another chance. Let's go straight again for another Water Gun. And look at that. Half its HP is gone. So, this Pokemon is going to continue to harden right here. So, let's go and take whatever HP we can. And, well, Rogan Rolla is still hardening. 
so there we go. Nearly a... Oh, wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay, 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 stay. God. Ooh, damn. Nearly got defeated by this guy right here. And look at that. Level 10. Off of one battle, and it's learning double slab, which is great. Okay. Alrighty. We worked hard. Yes, we have. Okay, Gothita. Okay. I, I, I see you. I see you, and well, I will raise you a potion right there, so little by little we're starting to see what kind of Pokemon we can actually use for this whole thing. Now, the other part about this whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, this Mew glitch is that we cannot be battling that guy on the corner right there. So let us continue with our battle, taking on a good old Hiker Man right here, and he's going to come out with a Dweeble, and this guy is at level 17. Now. I'm going to try and risk it. This guy's going to increase its uh, defense just a tad while we throw in a water gun. And that right there is taking a little bit. So let's go ahead and let this Pokemon just increase its defense. And you now see, we'll see what happens. And it's more and more. And here comes a sand attack. Good gravy. There we go. And that was almost a critical hit. And we're going to get sand attacked again. Come on, let's go Super Psycho. Nearly defeats this guy right here, and okay, okay. I think after this, yeah, we won't be able to hit the Weeble, and there's a scratch attack. Come on, ah, oh, crap baskets. Okay, come on. Come on, Super Psycho. He's giving you free shots, I swear to God. Ah, oh, gravy, okay, so with that, yeah, we're not gonna be able to hit this guy. And good gravy, come on! Uh, okay, so yes. See, I am stubborn as hell when it comes to this. Okay, I want this Pokemon to succeed, and look at that, level 11. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, alrighty, yeah, we are something. Let's go ahead and switch our, our Pokemon. So it looks like Super Psycho right here is looking like a pretty damn good Pokemon. So two good additions to the team. Let's go with Toxicity. Still want to evolve this Pokemon right here, and well... Local trainers come here to practice! They do. They really, 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 really do. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on another Pokemon trainer right here. Youngster wants the fight, and he's coming out with a Patrat. And Toxicity is looking mean, as always. Let's go with a Bite Attack. Now, off-screen I did teach so Toxicity Bite just for this occasion right here and it looks like he's smartened up to me so that won't actually happen let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon let's go to Oinkinator because this guy is gonna try and blind us and well there's a bite attack himself and well let's go ahead and heal up a Pokemon right here let's go straight up use a potion for Super Psycho right here and well let's see Try that one more time. Look at that. Two heals. Okay. So that kind of just helped us right there. And well, let's go straight in for a Mega Punch. And that will take care of that. Alrighty. Okay. And well, let's see. He's going to come out with a P Dove. Let's continue on right here with Oinkinator. Let's go, Oinkinator. Alrighty. And look at that. P Dove going with the Leer. So let's go straight for an Ember attack. And yeah, that right there is going to hit us pretty hard. So yeah, okay, alrighty. And gang, oh, Youngster. Yeah, he's telling me we're decent, whatever. Okay, so the other part of this whole, this whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, glitch involves this trainer right here. We will not be crossing him. We're just gonna, you know, Leave them right there, and then just battle the rest of the trainers right here. So I'm going to take a small break, guys. Need to grab something. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so I'm back here, guys, and ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, battle another trainer right here. Well, you know what? Toxicity needs more of this more of this battle right here. So here we go. Of course, she says, her boyfriend is hot. It is what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and take on Lass and... Well, she's coming out with a Pansage, so I guess I picked the right Pokemon for this job right here. So let's go ahead and go with the Poison Sting. Super effective. Let's get this. 
and it is poison. So now, now it's time to destroy this Pokemon. Now, Bite Attack would have done good well right here. It would have. Kind of would have. Alrighty, so we're taking a, a nice amount of uh, Bite or Fury Swipe. So let's go ahead and use a Bite Attack right here. And hope for the best that Pansage is going to go for Vine Whip. Yep, look at that. That's one. And yes, you're getting poisoned. Here we go again. Fury Swipes. This is going to be a good one. Alrighty. And there's a poison yet again. And there's a Vine Whip again. Oh, you're just doing everything that you sh Oh, it's against the rule book right here. And here's Unleash the Energy. And that takes the majority of Pantages HP. And well, Pantages, uh, either way you look at it, Pantages hurt. So let's go straight for a Poison Sting. Yeah, buddy. There it is. And well, let's see. She, she's coming out with the Pampoor. Let's go right ahead and go with Flash right here. Now, I wish Flash would have actually had a uh, like an actual uh, electric attack. Could have kept zip Zippy, but I think. I think, you know, the, I'm, I think I'm good with Flash right now, mainly because if it's, uh, you know, eventually it will get stronger, it will actually get better attacks and whatnot. And, well, let's go with the Bind Attack. Let's spam this whole thing right here. Look at that. Yes, it cannot move. Oh, yeah. Still trying to figure out how Flash can actually wrap against somebody or bind somebody. So let's just continue on, spam this. We all know that, you know, we've all taken a, 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 a spam of a, whatchamacallit, bind or wrap uh, at one point or another right here. And look at this. Oh, yes, we're continuing. Oh, crud. We are continuing the onslaught. And, well, good God. Probably should have taught Flash the, oh, gravy. That one was uh, painful, so let's go ahead and go with Pete of. Okay, alrighty, let's go ahead and switch it out to p -Dub right there, and... Well, let's see. Doesn't affect p -Dub. So let's go straight for a Gust Attack. Gust Attack, does it sting? Oh crud, okay, so there it is. Quick Attack, for the win! Alrighty, and there goes Panpour. Okay, and uh, we have just defeated a last flash or whatever she is. Okay, so that's another Pokemon trainer down, and I think I need to heal these Pokemon right here because uh, yeah, we take we we we've taken a quite a few damages. Toxicity needs something, and Flash needs something. Now you guys notice I do have the HP up, rare candy, and a nugget. I am thinking of selling those items just to get a little bit more money to buy stuff. As of right now, yeah, we can't really do much, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Let's go with Mr. Hydro. I don't want to use this guy right now. Alrighty. Bring it. I'm off to see the Pokemon Collector at the Cape. Uh, okay, alrighty. Let's go. Anywho, uh, now while I'm doing this right here, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the, the whole hacks thing. Now, as you guys already saw, I came out with a nice amount of hack games. This is one of them, Unova, Unova Red. We got Pokemon Brown. Hell, Pokemon Xenoverse. Now, that one is surprising in itself, and, well, the only reason I'm doing this is because at some point or another, I might not get to them. I really can't, and plus, they kind of just, you know, caught my eye, and I was like, you know what, these are the games that, you know, I was thinking that eh, I could finish real quickly, and I was right. Hell yeah, I was right. Or hell yeah, I'm right. And look at that mudflat Pokemon right here. So yeah, guys, uh, you know, this is all for you guys. If you guys remember last year, we started up with a buttload of walkthroughs. Some of you guys said, some of you guys, well, thought that I couldn't have... I couldn't complete them all, and I did. And hopefully it's the same thing right here when we get to the rest of these games. And look at that. Level 15, p -Dub. Oh, yes. p -Dub is kicking butt. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go straight to Super Psycho, because it does have the Water Gun Attack. Alrighty, here we go. Water Gun Attack. Ready to go. Let's go. Water Gun. Okay, and that takes a nice chunk, and we're going to be blinded. Okay, well, damn, okay. Yeah, we're going to get hit just quite a few times, and come on, Super Psycho. Oh, crap, 
And that headbutt will will get us good. So let's go ahead and switch out to Oinkinator. Uh, it looks like the Psych Attack Book Blank right here. Still the, uh, you know, they're, they're still, you know, physically weak, which is okay. I mean, we've got to go with their special and all that. And, well, Rogue Roll is still taking its hits right here. And, well, let's go ahead and go. Ember Attack, come on! Let's work for it. Come on. Ember Attack does its thing. Say goodbye. Alrighty. And, well, just like that. We do our thing, yes, we got ya. We got ya, alrighty. Let's see. Man, we're gonna be using a lot of potions. Oh yeah, a lot of potions here. Okay, so I think we got two more trainers left. Let's go ahead and continue on and... Let's go ahead and switch out Super Psycho. I kinda wanna, keep, I kinda wanna gain more levels with this Pokemon, so... Get this guy to move away from there, and he's a cool guy. He's got himself a girlfriend. Whatever. Okay, so here we go. Take it on the Pokemon Junior Trainer himself, and well, he's coming out with a pad trap. And ah, uh, yeah, that's not a good matchup for me. So let's go straight to Oyganator. If all else fails, I go to Oyganator. And well, here comes a Leer attack. Doesn't do me anything. So let's go make a make a punch. And there goes Patrat. Lost in the shuffle right there, and Super Psycho grows to level 12. And well, let's see. Here comes a Lillipup. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to. Let's see. Who should I put in next? You know what? P Dub needs needs some loving. I think it will grow to. Oh, I think it will evolve at level 16. I could be wrong. That's why I'm probably not using that uh, rare candy right there. And look at that. Okay, okay, alrighty. So he's he's playing hard to get. He's playing just like. Hardball. And this quick attack is actually doing such wonders that, oh wow, we take a bite attack and there it is. Goodbye, Lillipup. Alrighty, alrighty. Feeling victorious. Feeling awesome. Okay, alrighty, okay. So that right there is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and grab this item, which is TM19. More than likely it is Seismic Toss. I don't think they just, I don't think they switched this whole thing up right here. And yes, it is a seismic toss. Let's go ahead and teach that to Oinkinator since it is a fighting type move. Let might as well have something like that. And let's take away the tackle attack, which we don't need. And there we go. Oinkinator, seismic toss. Alrighty. Let's move on with our labs right here. Oh wait, we got two more trainers. And yeah, you know what? Super Psycho is still gonna go with this. I knew I had to fight you. Get yeah, on, say. Okay, bring it. Here we go, going up against a youngster, and well, coming out with a Patrat. Let's go, Super Psycho. Super Psycho, I am not doing anything with you right now. So let's go straight to Oinkinator. See what it can do right here. Now, let's see, what, what, what's another thing that I kind of wanted to say about this whole thing right here, guys? Uh, yeah, so, you know, doing these, doing these hack games, like, doing the, well, this amount of time, like, this amount of hack games, including with my main adventure Pokemon Moon, it's not taking away anything from me. I mean, I do have a good schedule, uh, in where I can actually, you know, I can actually record a chunk of a, of a footage and then get it all done by, you know, get it all done by the time I need to get it to. It's just, you know, sometimes, sometimes you'll see me miss a deadline and all that stuff and I skip it through to the following day. Either way you see it, guys, you're still going to get some footage. You're still going to get some walkthroughs right here. I... I intend on finishing all these walkthroughs all at the same time at some point. Or, you know, the majority of these walkthroughs and whatnot. So, look at that. Pants here, defeated by Mr. Hydro. And yes, he's like, I knew I'd lose too. Then why'd you become a Pokemon trainer? I just want to know that. Okay, so here we go. Last trainer right here. And my friend has a cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. She is very, very jealous. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Lass, and she is coming out with her Petalil. Now, here's a fun fun fact. You can actually find Petalil and Cottony in uh, in this area right here, too. 
I was thinking of getting one of those two, but I was like, eh, yeah, you know what, uh, I don't know. It's something about these two Pokemon just don't rub me the right way. I know that they're both, uh, you know, replacements for both Oddish and Bellsprout, but I don't know which one is better. And this is the reason why we're playing Pokemon uh, Unova Red, because, you know, it kind of forces you to pick and choose or, you know, pick and choose Pokemon of similar, you know, similar typings and stats and all that stuff, so there we go. Defeated Pedal. And look at that. Okay, more points. Coming out with a beat of. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Super Psycho. I kind of want to use a Super Psycho right here, so let's go ahead and use Super Psycho and switch out because it does have some weak defenses and well, let's see. Let's go straight to Mr. Hydro right here. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Bum, 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 bum. Having fun. Alrighty. Now, another thing too, guys. You guys have noticed the editing in a lot of my videos now. I did say I was going to switch it up with the editing and everything else. Uh, mainly because, you know, a lot of my walkthroughs that you guys have been seeing, you know, straight to the point maybe you'll see an occasional thing right here and there you know a transition but I did buy myself some programs that would actually help me with uh, you know with editing and all that uh, I am trying my best and I am trying trying my hand on all the things that you know come with the program I actually got myself big as 18 which uh, you know later on it will include just a little bit more stuff into these whole walkthrough videos and stuff very very excited because you know kind of want to you know give you high quality of uh, videos right here and well defeating that person leads us to Bill's house right here the sea cottage okay so as you can see there's no Bill just a Pokemon where the hell is Bill hiya I'm a Pokemon no no I'm, I'm not call me Bill I'm a true blue, blue Pokemaniac hey what's with that skeptical look I'm not joshing you I screwed up in an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here? Sure, okay, so I'm a, okay, when I'm in the teleporter, go to the PC and run the cell separation system. Alrighty, okay. I could just leave you there and you can stay a Pokemon forever, but you know, we kind of need your info, so let's go ahead, talk to this guy, and uh, yeah, buddy. It sounds like he's out. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Yeah, thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this will do. And we get ourselves the SS ticket. That cruise ship SSN is a Vermilion City. If its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Alrighty. Okay, so that's cool. We got that. Now we step back inside, and we are going to be able to see the favorite Pokemon list. Now, he does have four Pokemon, which we can't check out because it's Eevee, Jolteon, and, you know, it's the Eevee, it's the Eevee Illusions, which we can't really check out since it's the Unova deck. So, there you have it, guys. That was us going into the Sea Cottage. Now, in the next episode, it all depends on what happens next. But in the next episode, I will try and do, or I will try experimenting with the whole Mitch, or the, the whole uh, Mew glitch. And from there, if it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. Then we'll just go into the next adventure. But stay tuned, guys. Yes, we are going into the next, uh, I guess, adventure. That is going into the gym right there. So. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.